Hello everyone and welcome back guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to mod Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I'm going to start doing more modded videos for you today. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. All right, guys, the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Frosty Mod Manager right here. Link is in the description for everything I use in this video. So you're going to head and click on this, download the mod tool. Once you make it the mod tool, you're going to have to decide where you want the file to actually go. I went ahead and made an actual file for Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods. Once the mod downloads, you're just going to want to right click it and extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever you decide to use. Once you've unzipped the file you go ahead and double click on the actual application itself it'll open up the frosty mod manager tool once you have downloaded that you will first need to go in and it'll make you select where your game is once you do that uh, you'll just go into like wherever your game is so like mine is in uh, programs 80 x86 origin game star wars battlefront 2 and then you'll select the application and then it'll know what game you're wanting to load up on it once you have done that you're going to want to go and download a mod most of the mods are on the nexus um site the nexusmod.com that is also in the link in the description i'll leave that down there you'll find the mod you want this one i'm going to go ahead just for example is the kylo ren radar technician or should i say matt the radar technician Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a radar technician. You go ahead and select the one you want. So this one has the arcade version or the multiplayer version. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select the arcade version for right now. For video purposes, you'll just click on manual download. Once that has downloaded, you'll select the area you want. Uh, obviously, this is already defaulted into the actual file that I want, but you'll select wherever you want to do it, desktop or the actual file that you have it. You'll click save. It'll go through the download process. Once it's downloaded, it'll show up in your file. So uh, almost done here. All right, now that it has showed up, um, all you're going to do is simply you're going to grab it and drop it into here. It's going to install the mod. Now the mod has been installed into the Frosty Mod Manager. So to simply just apply it, you're going to double click and now it has applied it. You can uncheck or check it depending on what mods you want actually installed. Once that is done, you're going to hit launch and it's going to load the game. You want to make sure you launch it from the Mod Manager tool. You cannot launch the game from Origins or this will not work. So you go ahead and just select launch. All right, guys, here we are, and now you can see, obviously, I already have, I have uh, no hologram mod on, so these guys are not in hologram. I've downloaded the Django Fett one. Looks pretty awesome. And you also have Matt, the radar technician, so you can see that this is working. I'll go ahead and dive into a little quick game just to show you that everything is working properly as it's supposed to. All right, and you can see right here, it is working. There's Matt, the radar technician, and you also have the Django Fett one that I downloaded as well. So I'll go ahead and show you that all the abilities and everything is working as it should. And it looks beautiful with this no hologram. I love the no hologram mod. And as you can see, he is the normal Kylo Ren, just with a nice skin on it. All of his abilities work as they should. And yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Totally puts a whole new uh, twist on the game, putting mods. This one is obviously just the arcade one, but you can download the multiplayer one if you want. A uh, little disclaimer though, I do not know if EA or DICE will ban people for using skin mods online. Um, as far as I know, no one's been banned, uh, but use at your own risk. And yeah, just have a lot of fun with it guys, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, if you guys have any mod request videos that you want me to showcase slash review, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And I will be live streaming this game uh, a lot more uh, on this channel. I've been on Twitch for quite a while, um, but I'm going to start down or start streaming more on uh, YouTube again. Uh, so make sure you guys like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.